Okay, so this is the attic of my shop. And I'm actually here to do just a quick little video about my uh, oiler for the chainsaw mill that I've made. Uh, this is for uh, Sawdust for Life. He was talking about possibly buying one and I was like, they're really simple to make. And I told him I would do a short video of this. So basically all I did was take a piece of square tubing that fit over the, uh, the, the upright on the mill and put a pinch bolt here so that it uh, can be tightened down on there and won't uh, vibrate off. And then I welded a bar across the top of it and then this PVC pipe, I put a couple of caps on. This one is glued, this one is not. And then just uh, use some uh, uh, hose clamps to clamp it onto that bar, which holds it in position. And then on the top one, if I can get a good enough grip on it, it's kind of oily. There we go. Okay, the top one, you need a small hole drilled in it. as to let air in. Uh, it gets clogged with sawdust, you have to blow it out, but <laughs> anyway, that's to let air in so that as it comes down, and here's the part you got to buy, uh, you got to find, locate, is this is a needle valve, and then I drilled a hole in here and tapped it for the needle valve, and you use some Teflon tape or whatever, and then screw it in there, and you try to get it to the very edge of the pipe, which is not the edge of the cap, so pay attention to that. Because if you put it at the edge of the cap and then try to put it on there, it'll hit the pipe. That won't work. So you got to be inside the pipe. And then uh, I use a piece of copper tubing and take it down. Oop. Push it back on the... It goes down. And I threw a Velcro strap down here. And it's just kind of aimed... My finger's out of the way. It's just kind of aimed right at the tip of the bar. Now, it's copper and it's... Uh, what do you call it, annealed copper. So it's like soft and flexible, which means if it hits the teeth, because uh, it vibrates around a lot, it's going to do that. I mean, unless you come up with a better way to hold it than I did, which is quite possible. But uh, if it vibrates around and hits the teeth, it doesn't do anything. It's so soft that the teeth just actually cut it. Uh, it's like, uh, it's a little more than wood, but again, it's, it's soft metal, so it doesn't do damage the teeth as much. But then you gotta have that little guy right there. So when you turn that open, of course, it slowly starts to drip down there. Now, I've seen these where people have put them exactly up and straight up and down, and that's okay. But what happens is when you go to work on your saw in the thing, when you set it down, you'll oftentimes set it down like this, right? And its tendency, because of all the weight out here, is to tilt on down like that well if you put this at an angle it stops it from tipping down as far and it keeps this end up off the ground where the oil won't leak out your air hole so that's why i put mine at an angle if you put it straight out then now that that thing will be sticking out here and the oil is going up against your breather hole and leaking out so yeah that's uh that's how i did mine and it has worked like a champ I've made quite a few slabs. I have a video making those slabs. So be sure to go check out some of those other videos to get an idea of what I'm talking about. But uh, yeah, there we go. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. See you on the next one.